Good day. This is Pastor JT from New Calvary Baptist Church here in the lovely city of Detroit early on this Friday morning at the cusp of the end of the work week. Give yourself a hand. You made it. You made it. You made it. We made it. Hey, we're excited about you continually connecting with me uh, each and every work week as I do my best uh, to encourage you uh, in this thing called life through the lens of God's word, building up your excitement and encouraging you along the way. Look, this word can be found in the 116th Psalm, verse two. Psalm 116, verse two. And it reads as follows. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. Uh, David put pen to parchment and he uh, so eloquently throughout the book of Psalms shares with us how important his relationship is with God. He shares his emotions. He shares his experiences. And in this particular passage of scripture, uh, he shares with us uh, conversations he has with God. He talks about how he recognizes that God hears him. What 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 a painful experience it is uh, when the person you're talking to doesn't hear and or listen to you. They're distracted. They minimize what you're saying. But David lets us know that there is a way where you can obtain God's undivided attention. And there are benefits to that. Uh, the major benefit of having God's undivided attention is that because he hears and listens to you, not only does he understand, but he acts on it. And when you recognize that the creator and sustainer of life hears, listens, understands, and acts on it, it builds your prayer life because you recognize the power and the awesome privilege it is to have a conversation with God. Uh, we are when we pray, we are praying to uh, a ghost or someone who does not hear or understand. But we are praying to a God who hears our cry and he answers by and by. So I encourage you on today to have a little talk with Jesus and tell him all about your struggles. He'll hear your faintest cry and he'll answer by and by. You hear a little prayer, we'll turn it. And you know the rest of the song. Just have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it all right. Look, I pray uh, that these uh, word on the net messages have blessed you throughout the week. And I encourage you um, as you contemplate uh, your schedule, uh, for the end of this week uh, that you find a healthy well-balanced church uh, where you can find uh, a place where God is this where Jesus and God is the center uh, of that church and once you find uh, that place of worship uh, connect uh, with them so that you can become kingdom multipliers so those who are in the city of Detroit I strongly urge you to come to 3975 Concord Street in the lovely city of Detroit here on the campus uh, each and every Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, where uh, we worship God uh, and we have a powerful message uh, to encourage you throughout the week. Uh, to even those who are not uh, residents of the state of Michigan, you can connect with us on Facebook or, or YouTube um, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and then you can receive uh, the worship, the praise, and the proclamation that God has blessed us here at New Calvary. Look, uh, I'm Pastor JT uh, here 
uh, the servant leader at New Calvary Baptist Church. And I've been honored and it's a privilege uh, to share with you, uh, to, uh, to come into the space you've carved out for me to encourage you. Uh, see you next week. Uh, may God bless you and may God keep you and may his face shine upon you is my prayer. Amen.